I swear we're gonna figure this out. I promise you we're gonna figure this out. Um, let's see. Stefania's there, she's already hit me up and let me know that she's tried to get on. And we've come dangerously close to connecting. Dangerously close. Stefania, I'm back on. I just sent you another invite. So let's see. Yeah, she's in here somewhere. I love that all y'all want to talk because it's it, it makes it a little tough to find Stefania. I'm trying to grab her to top of y'all. Let's see. There she goes. I just tried it. There she goes. There she yeah. is. There's the lovely lady. <laughs> Hello, there's not very many people in this cast that are good with this Instagram thing. <laughs> no, it's well, it is, it is, the problem is, it, look, it's good problems because it basically is because they're like, 50 people at a time, every 30 seconds, a new 50 people trying to, you know, jump on the feed. Exactly, exactly. Ah, Meryl. Hey, think, Meryl. Stefan, you there? I think you I went, am. oh, there you go. You froze up a little bit on me. Now, where are you? Where in the world are you? Sorry. I'm in Brazil, so it's nighttime for me. Say what? You're in Brazil? Yeah. <laughs> and I guess that's uh, great. <laughs> you're coming in and out. You, you look great. Thank you. So do you. That bougainvillea behind you looks beautiful. Yeah, I'm just in the backyard. Um, so uh, are you just on vacation in Brazil? Or are you working on something? Or? Well, I'm also <laughs> finalizing. I did a conference with with Beto and Kylie from Grey's Anatomy. Well, Kylie is on Station 19, but Beto is in Grey's. And we did a conference here. And I'm also finalizing the music of my short film. So it's a uh, work. Your short film. Now tell So your short film is your directorial debut. Uh, yes. So, so what can you share with us about it? What can, you sh what can you share with us about it? Well, I feel like everybody told me to my first project very personal and it was it's like a it's a little bit of a snippet with it like a, a, a look into the life of my mother and I and it's a love letter to her and to Sicily and and also an encouragement for women to yeah um get into motherhood by giving it our all but but also keeping some for ourselves. I feel like women have this tendency to just give up everything for our family and for our kids. And I feel like and to give some love to ourselves and keep our passions and whatever makes us happy because it's important. I love that. That's a, that couldn't be more true. I, my, I tell my wife to be more selfish and we'll yeah. figure it out. I say, be more selfish and we'll figure it out. You know, if, if you know, especially, you know, we're, we're blessed enough to be able to throw money at the problem on top of it. But yeah, it's the, you know, more, more women need to not just drop your family, because obviously family's first and foremost for everything, but be a little bit more selfish. Women need to make sure that they take care of themselves. Yeah, and recharge. Yeah, recharge, exactly. I mean, we, I grew up at the beach in, you know, back in Virginia, Virginia Beach, and we Virginia. would call it the, uh, we called it the lifeguard thing. You know, if, uh, in, when you're saving somebody in the water, if, they, if they're taking you down, you gotta let go for a little bit, get yourself straight again, before you go back and try and save them again. And I think, uh, I think moms in particular have a tendency to, to, never, to never take that moment for themselves, to get themselves straight again before they dive back in. So, uh, mm -hmm. so we all will be on the lookout for this short. Um, I just want to, I want to wake you up about, because uh, without giving away tonight's storyline or anything like that, 
um, I just want to share that you in particular had to, uh, I feel like you and Jaina had to kind of go yeah. to the zoo and uh, had like, you know, hard days. Uh, but I think, but I think if I really had to push it out, I think you had an even tougher balance because you had to do, you had to go to the zoo in a very, very particular kind of way. It was like, it was, it was watching you like dance on a high wire. Uh, and I, I felt like I felt like an ass because I kept making you do it again and again and again. <laughs> Wait, okay, I need to for a second, and I want to ask you how was your directorial debut? Because for me, as an actor, it felt like you you would you have been doing this for for your whole life for as long. As <laughs> <laughs> well, thank you, thank you. No, if um, working with what was fun was uh, I've been teaching and uh, acting for years. You know what I mean? Uh, off and on for, you know, for, you know, <laughs> longer than I want to admit. Um, and so the dealing with y'all is the most, ex is one of the most exciting parts for me, but, you know, it's the collaboration for me is the part that I love about what we do. You know, yeah. I, I, I say that like if uh, doing a one man show where I'm up on stage doing like 20 voices would be so boring to me. Right. Being on stage doing 20 voices with another two or three actors and they're doing 20 voices, that would be a dream. That would be super right. fun uh, because I've got it. I like playing off of other people as an actor. And I realized that's what I love about being a director was playing off of my director of photography. You know, Brian, Gar you know, Garbellini did a fantastic job playing off of, of course, all of you actors playing off of, uh, you know, talking with the writers and getting new juice out of it. I would find things that they wrote that they hadn't seen. You all would find things that, you know, in the words and, you know, that they hadn't, you know, they're like, I didn't even realize I was in there and they wrote it. And, uh, and hearing and hearing things that I didn't catch that they were like, nope, that's something I would love to have in there. And I was like, that's fantastic. Let's go, you know, put that in the actors. So that collaboration to me is the, you know, the, the, the set designers, you know, uh, having a conversation about, and I got lucky because, you know, uh, there were sets that have not shown up yet. Uh, right. And that they got built uh, and showed up in my episode. So I got to have input on that. And uh, that that's a lot of fun. So for me, it was, the acting piece felt normal. Cameras, figuring out, you know, I'm sure your experience with yeah. coming up with a great way to visually tell the story is super fun, is the challenge. That's the puzzle that I love to solve. But it's also the part where I'm like, that's the least, that's where I'm least knowledgeable. That's where I'm least confident yeah. and, and had to lean on people more. Was that like, what was your experience like on your short? Yeah, the same. I feel like it's so important to get the right angles to tell the story and to tell that emotion and but I, I feel like if you have a crew that you trust the, the job like the collaborative element of it makes it so much easier because everybody's excellent at what they're doing and I feel like if you all have uh, the same vision and and you have in mind the same result you can yeah collaborating for me was this also I couldn't I don't have the passion for holding camera photography but I do have um a very uh bubbly imagination so I was like I want this I want slow motion and then I want the close up of the feet but I wouldn't know how to move the camera or how to um, translate that into a shot yeah so. yeah you just said one of I think the most important words it's the, it's the key it's the cornerstone of everything we do as artists, uh, unless you're a solo artist, you know, uh, trust, you know, mm. you can't collaborate with somebody unless you, you know, you got to trust and, you know, it's a trust fall. Uh, you know, I mean, how many times have we like, you know, shown up, you just meet somebody and then you've got to, I remember one time I did a job and she's a dear friend of mine, uh, Valerie. Um, I showed up in the morning, met her in the trailer and was like, Hey, my name's Jason. I'll be playing your husband and I'll be part of your threesome later on this afternoon. That was my deck. That's what we do for a living. That's a, it's a, it's, it's a weird gig. It's a weird gig. Yeah. Yeah. It is and you've just got to trust, you've just got to trust that the person yeah. you're hanging out with is not super pervy. You know? <laughs> yeah. Which for me, thankfully, most of the times it wasn't. So it's, I've been lucky like that, but I feel like, okay, so my most, my biggest challenge was not to get too involved in the emotion of the actor while directing. Like I was crying a lot while giving directions to the camera. Is that, has that ever happened to you? Did you cry with me? 
a little bit. No. <laughs> you know what? Um, I didn't, not while directing. Not while directing. Although I was, I was right there with you, but I wasn't crying because I think there was too much in my brain that was worried thinking about other things. I was, uh, I, I, m part of my superpower is I can, give, I can give things up to other people no problem. Like, uh, like somebody asked me if I was nervous about the show, about my episode premiering tonight. And I said, no, not at all. I said, because I can't do anything anymore. <laughs> right? It's, it's not because I think it's good, although I do think it's good. I think you guys are really going to enjoy it. But it's because I can't do it. I can't do anything else. I'm, I'm good. So like, if I, I am very able to trust in you. And I would watch you and be totally engrossed in what you were doing, but also paying attention to what the cameras are doing and this and the other thing. So I would trust in what you're doing. And when I watch it tonight, I'll boohoo like an idiot with you. You know what I mean? It's like that's it. When I watch it with, with when I watch it with my kids, that's when they laugh because for when they were younger, they thought like dad never cries, and then they got older and they were like, "You just hide that junk real well, but you slick with it." I see you, dad. I, I see you dropping one. I'm like, yeah, it happens. I'm not even no front. <laughs> I love that. I love that. Uh, you so you would get too caught up with your actors and that sort of thing. So, uh, but not too. But you wouldn't. You, you it didn't. I'm guessing it didn't get in the way of what was going on. That's where you've got, you know, a script supervisor and uh, DP, camera what, operators. Yeah, what happened is that the whole crew was laughing at me. I was like, yeah, because at this point, I think you should. And the crew was like, okay, this is going to take a while. And they were so nice. It was also 40 degrees Celsius. So it was like 110 Fahrenheit. Everybody was dying. It was Sicily. No mm. AC. Where, and still we met they met like the crew was amazing they supported me through everything to my crying and my laughing and the heat and everything <laughs> yeah. that's love that's like 110 degrees and we have to break for 10 minutes because the directors uh have a crying <laughs> fit a hundred percent well also my story had a, it's being so personal i was like oh my god i have to tell you this story for you to understand this moment that. See, that I would think would be, that I think Art. would change the calculus. Because it's very much, it's such a personal story for you. You know what I mean? I mean, the story that you guys tell tonight is an amazing story. It's fantastic. And you acted it beautifully. But it's not my personal story. That would change the whole thing a lot, I think. Also, I feel like Jaina's uh, storyline was a little bit more serious and, and uh, like, emotionally. <sighs> yes. I feel like I without giving too much away but i feel like our cry yeah. was different <laughs> I, I i shared already in uh in some interviews and on social media i said you all embody the crying laughing and laughing while you're crying um like that's I, the that's the and it's and that's why it's such a tough needle to thread that's why i was uh i was in awe of you all and just so happy and and it, it it sounds ridiculous and almost patronizing to say, but proud of you. I really was. No. Um, yeah. You know, the, the three of you were fantastic. And it was, uh, I think people are going to love it. I, I'll put it this way. Yeah, I was doing some uh, interviews yesterday and uh, they were responding particularly that, uh, that, they, they, that your scenes uh, registered with them because of the crying while laughing, laughing while crying piece. Um, oh my. Yeah. yeah. Jaina's stuff, you're right. Jaina has a whole other level of... Uh, I had to take her to the zoo in a whole different way. Hers is is just a. I have a friend who had this. Uh, my friend Brian McCarthy uh, said, he thinks the best story is you take a person, your, your hero or shiro, and you put them in. You, so you put them in a crucible and you kind of just grind them down to their bare essence. The whole situation, everything coming at them, grinds them down until there's just the raw person left. And I feel like this episode for Jaina is one where you've got you know, the legal system that, you know, too often puts women on trial when they're survivors. Uh, you know, usually they're in the witness box, but in this case, she's literally on trial for defending herself. Uh, you know, it puts, you know, and then you've got, you know, the legal system is, is pushing her down and pressuring her and grinding her. And then the, you know, the fire department policy is grinding her and also the other things in the episode are grinding her down until, you know, you either break or you, you find that, you know, you're, the the most raw intense fierce fiercest version of yourself and so you know and you got to watch the episode tonight to see where andy lands out i'll just say that again we took you know jana had to go deep yeah jana had to go deep 
Um, so, uh, yeah. but um, yeah, tonight it was funny though because uh, tonight's the tonight is also uh, the party for the 400th episode of Grey's Anatomy. Um, I know. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah. But you're gonna be in Brazil. I know. An actual party, like a f physical people live. This is the thing. This is the thing. Okay, I'm gonna rat some folks out now. I'm gonna spill the tea all over the place. Ready? Pretty much the policy goes out that COVID policies are still in place. Nobody's having rap parties. Nobody's having rap parties. Station 19, we love you so much, but we're not doing a rap party. So we're cool with that. We had a whole festival the last week. We did raffles at lunch. We had all these food trucks come in, and it was a great last week. We kind of spread it out over five days, and it was great. It was fantastic because there's no rap parties. Grey's Anatomy. <gasps> I love That's my family, so, you know, I can say it. They rapped yesterday. Yeah. So, so I keep saying that this is their 400th definitely not a rap party party. Um, it just oh. happens to be happening the day after they wrap the season. It just happens to be happening the day after they wrap, a se wrap the season. It's just, it's just happens. Ah. You, can't, you can't blame nobody. It just, you know, it just happened that way. It's, it's, it's yeah, like weather. I, I, I'm bummed. I'm so bummed I'm going to miss the not rap party that happens after they wrap. Right. Right, but you're 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 in Brazil, so um, I don't know how much you can you can bitch and moan about. <laughs> yeah, okay, okay. I'm Brazil. I'm about to go to Italy. I can't complain about nothing. It's all good. Right. You, so Brazil, then Italy, and where else you gonna be? Can I blow you up anymore so people can like stalk you all around the globe and just follow you? <laughs> we won't give up I, dates. We won't give up dates. I, I go to Paris, and I might go to Ibiza, but I might. My, my my best uh, friend lives. She just had a baby. I'm gonna go see her. Maybe I don't know. I don't know nothing. Your friends had a baby and is in Ibiza. She lives between London and Ibiza. Yes. Nobody lives in Ibiza. First off, is it Ibiza or is it Ibiza? <laughs> right. First off, that's the first thing. How you? If, this is how because Ibiza is just a party joint. They're so partied out and oh. still drinking or imbibe or it's ingesting whatever they're doing. They don't even know how to pronounce their own country anymore. That's what I'm saying. <laughs> So if your friend has a kid, if your friend has a child, they got no business living in a visa. Keep that child in London. Keep that child in London. <laughs> Two kids? Two kids? Two kids. She loves no, me because gonna... yeah, of course, the weather is nicer. And then once the no. summer is over, no. the island. She's going to go to Ibiza, forget that she has two children, and come back with one. That's what's going to happen. She's going to party <laughs> so hard. She's going to forget she got two kids, come back with one, and be like, what we, did we forget something? You know, it's like a oh, yeah. Beatha home alone. A kid sitting, a kid sitting in a Beatha. Mom and dad just left me in the country because <laughs> they partied so hard. I'm gonna put it out to her just in case, so she remembers. Where, where are you going? Where are you going? Oh, we um, we are gonna roll wow. through London a little bit. I'm gonna visit some friends in London, and then uh, and we dab. We thought about hitting Italy for a little bit because we love, so we, you know, we love Italy. You know, we love Italy. I've been to Italy like. You know, yeah. like a half dozen times or something like that. But we are going to go to uh, South Africa and Zambia. We're going on safari. We're, uh, we're, I'm psyched. My son is, uh, my oldest son is graduating high school. And so yeah. we, are, uh, we are heading to, go, you know, doing one of those big once in a lifetime, you know, just don't pay attention to the bottom number, just sign the, 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 the form uh, vacations okay. to go on safari and such. But with the whole family, amazing. Yeah, we're taking the, all five of us are going, and we're actually going with another family uh, that are dear friends. And uh, we, uh, we're, it's I'm looking, I'm really truly looking forward to it because this will be only my second time to to Africa in general, but uh, a completely different section. I mean, you know, I've, I've been to Ghana before. Uh, Boris and I went to Ghana a few years ago. You know, we, and uh, and this time South Africa. I have a friend who, I have a friend who, I coached as an actor. And he got on to, I coached him on audition, and he got on to a, uh, a television show in South Africa. So uh, I'm trying to hook up with him, see if we can, when I come through Johannesburg, if we can connect up uh, a little bit. Because, you know, there's no better way to come to a country than with somebody who's on TV in that country. That's just the, that, I, I figure that, you know, that's got to be the way to pull it off. Um, but I'm looking forward to doing Victoria Falls. You know, um, Danielle went. Danielle went to uh, Victoria Falls uh, I did, I a few years ago. I know. It sounds yeah. amazing. 
It sounds amazing. I've only been to Nigeria. That's the only country I've been to in Africa, but I'm looking forward. Uh, one of my best friends has an orphanage in Tanzania, so I'm looking forward to visit the orphanage. Yes. Um, and COVID has made yeah. it travel harder, so hopefully we'll be back. Okay. <laughs> That was insane. Um, literally, I got a signal that I've never gotten before my phone where I had to plug it into a computer. It wasn't out of power. It just literally shut down and completely went back to zero. So let me see if I can pull Stefania back up. We were probably getting close to finishing up, but uh, that was very random. If you have any question about how much technology hates me, uh, that was it. <laughs> it was nuts. Um, it just shut down on me. Uh, so I'm just trying to see if I can get Stefania back. For you all. I want to see if we can connect up and just finish up a little bit. There she goes. If we can view this. <laughs> technology hates me in ways you can't even imagine like literally the technology gods are like forget you jason george we don't, we don't care nothing about you like, I love, we're waiting for you to bring me in i'm reading the comments is like jason you need an assistant <laughs> jason <laughs> wife, is it, my favorite but, wife wives you have terrible both of us terrible connection <laughs> yeah yeah, yeah. The sad part is you're in uh, Brazil in a hotel. I'm in my house. That's the sad part. Uh, is that this is just my world. Well, no. The truth, the truth <laughs> is uh, I was out here and suddenly um, four people came home. And next thing you know, all the internet juice. So I had to kick everybody off the internet. Then we were fine. Once I kicked everybody off, I had to pull the dad card. Do <laughs> yeah. it. Yeah. Uh, Daniel? By the way, uh, Stacey K. Black is on here. I just saw uh, her. Uh, I just saw her, her thing come up. So, uh, Stacey, if you don't know, Stacey K. Black is our producing director. Uh, Paris Barkley was held that position uh, beautifully for the first four seasons. And uh, without missing a step, Stacey K. Black came in. And she's now, she's our, uh, Christopher Vernoff is the big mama. And uh, Stacey K. Black is, 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 is like big sister. It's like big sister. Uh, and so uh, she takes care of us and hires all the directors. She hired me, um, so yeah, it uh, it, it works out. Uh, hi, Stacy. Hi, Stacy. Hi, Stacey. <laughs> yeah. Um, ah. where else do we have folks? If uh, you know what, we were drawn before, but if folks have questions, uh, oh. I would happily. <laughs> Somebody's asking, maybe if you go inside, it helps with the connections. Yeah, it was not my connection. Is the sad part. It was literally just my phone just decided to explode, and uh. And I, it's the weirdest thing. I had to literally connect up co to my computer and uh, and do a restore thing from, app it was insane. I don't know. So the Apple, get at me, get at your boy, because I don't understand. I think I, I, I have a little theory that when they decide that you, you've gone too long without getting a new phone, things start to happen that make you want to get a new phone. Oh, uh, I, think I, I feel like if I'm uh, their updates, that's what they do. They slow, if you have an older version, they, they, yep. they just up with your phone they force you they force you know who uh because I, I i don't get a new phone unless i really see the value in it like just the, having the newest shiniest thing is not my jam but uh and so i can be a little bit bad about it you know who's the worst who cool. chandra, chandra. i knew it <laughs> I, chandra I, I just worked with her and i saw that she has a, like i think she still has the small one which is like a one number and i love that she uh, held on. She, she is like, she's like, nope, I'm good. I'm good. I, I love her to death. But I was, I, but I will, whenever she pulls it out, I get to go off on her. It's like, she knows, like, that I do, like, I have like a five minute set that I do. Is this thing on? What's up with that phone? And it's just ridiculous. It's uh -huh. like, and everybody's like, here we go. Um, uh, she's but, a uh, director that I love to work with. Love yeah. to work with. Incredible. I, I, I don't like working with that much. I'm not, I'm not a fan. <laughs> Yeah, right. <laughs> <laughs> no, nah, she's she's the best. She uh she actually her only her second time directing, now she's directed dozens of episodes, but her uh her second time directing was our character's first kiss. So uh you know. So you gotta 
He directed your first kiss on camera. She did. Could you imagine? That's hard. How did it go? Was it awkward? No, I I didn't realize it was only a second time. I thought she'd been doing it for a minute. I thought she was all good. Uh, Amazing. Uh, she, yeah, she was uh she was she was confident as she is in many things. Um, right. I'm scrolling through to see if anybody's got any questions for you while we got you on the. Uh, some folks are sending love from London. We saw some some uh, Norway. Uh, uh, she said, uh, "Who's it? Day around the world. Day spelled D-E-Y. Are you excited with this episode, Steph?" I am so excited. I, it is one of my favorite episodes of the whole season. I'm sorry. What was that? I didn't hear it. I didn't. I didn't hear. Nothing. Nothing. <laughs> no, come on. As an actor, I had such a blast doing this episode. It was so fun. It was so different. There was comedy. There was whatever. You, what you said at the beginning about laughing, laughing. crying. Yeah. It's spot on, and it was amazing. I felt crazy doing it. I was like, okay. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, I, but, I got very afraid that we were going to break the Stefania. I was, I, I was like, don't break the Italian. We can't break the Italian. <laughs> no, but it was amazing because the tears were real, were genuine, but then it came everything else. That was also kind of, so it was like insanity at that night i slept like a baby i'm gonna tell you that, that was oh, like, oh. i know you did i knew you would i knew <laughs> you would i mean by the time the end of that day do you remember at the end of the day i came to you and i was like do you have one more in you and you were like yeah yeah <laughs> and then i said that like two more times <laughs> yes you did <laughs> but i love it i love it i love it and as you said i love the collaborative part of every art form and I feel like it was amazing to collaborate with you because I feel like at the beginning of the scene you said I feel like I see you sitting I was like oh I don't like sitting doing these kind of scenes and then I did it and I trusted you and it just worked perfectly and it was so fun to just allow it to evolve to what it became. You know what that is? there's a funny a basic thing for all you actors out there um when you audition and that sort of thing they usually have a chair in the room when you go into audition. Don't necessarily just sit in the chair. There's two mm -hmm. things that can happen. When you move the chair and you decide you're going to stand, one, you kind of psychologically take control of the situation. This is my audition and I'm going to do it. The second thing that happens is when you sit down, your energy kind of <sighs> drops out, which for a normal scene is not a great thing. But for your scene, uh, for you to just kind of let everything else go and just let whatever comes up come out. Uh, yeah. It was kind of beautiful. It was. It was kind it of was. beautiful. Yeah, especially because we were coming from the other scene that was definitely not seating that was <laughs> involved in that scene. So yeah. it was a, a great. You'll shame. all see what we're talking about later on. You'll see. She. Uh, no. it's, it's comedy. It's uh, it's like a little bit of farce. Um, here, here's a question. Now <laughs> we're like teasing them. Now we're just like, what? Oh, that thing that I can't tell you about until like three hours from now. Yeah, that was great. I love that. Um. <laughs> But uh, here's a question from, uh, who is this? Uh, Anita Ortiz, 2010. What made you decide to be a director? I'm, I'm taking that as a question for me and you because uh, you're directing now as well. Um, so you first, what made you decide to, to direct uh, your own short? Well, I wanted, so I did a movie in Italy and during that movie, I was I got very close with the director and the and the editor of the film. And so they, she was editing in real time. And so we were finishing the full day of shooting and then we we're going to the editing room and, she, and I watched her do her magic. And I was so fascinated with everything. And I felt like every time I said something, the director really took it in and it, it valued my opinion and I was like oh my god this is so fun to collaborate with these other two people they're super passionate about this project as much as I am and it felt I was like okay this is amazing and then a little seed was planted in there and then I left Italy I came back to America and I did my thing and then I started watching actually Danielle was shadowing at the time and I didn't even know there was possible there was a possibility so I was like can I do that too because I would love to learn more and they were very welcoming towards it so I started shadowing and then I was like I think I need to do this because I didn't realize how much we learn as actors by just being on set and watching everything that happens and obviously there's so much more to directing because there's a lot of pre-production a lot of post-production people say you make the movie 
or at the episode three times pre-production that you shoot it and then in post-production which is so yeah. true and I'm now with my short because I was like oh my god the music oh my god this oh my god the sound design and it's so many elements uh, but yeah, I feel like I just wanted to be more involved in the full picture, in, in the full storytelling uh, process. And I wanted the collaboration. I love the collaboration. Part. What about you? No, the same. I mean, literally the being more involved in the full process was the thing. And, uh, and I'll say this, the result was funny. The thing that I kind of had, I, I had a pretty good concept of what I knew and what I didn't know. You know, knowing what you don't know is very important. And then you can find somebody who knows what you don't know and say, okay, explain this to me like I'm a five-year-old. So I, I thought I knew what I knew and I thought I knew what I didn't know. The one uh, thing that I kind of got surprised by that I did not expect wasn't about actually directing so much. It was, I didn't realize how, I love my crew. I love my cast. I didn't realize how much more I would uh, love my cast and crew. Uh, uh, I didn't expect that. It got me a little. Uh, it got me a little emotional. Got me in my feels a little bit. I was not prepared to suddenly be looking at everybody like you. You, my, you know, like the, the, my. You know, they took. They took care of me. It was like you know. The only thing I can liken it to is, you know, I, I have three kids, and when my kids show up someplace else and do something beyond me in my wildest dreams and just blow me out of the water, which they've each done at various times. And I go into like, cause I'm, I'm a stupid dad. I'm a ridiculous dad. I'm, I, my, everything I do is about, you know, is an excuse to get back to my kids or something to show my kids or whatever. It's a, and so, uh, yeah, that was the only way I could kind of liken it to was that weird, you thought you, the, the, you'd hit the limits of your love and appreciation and then there's a whole nother level. And so that to me was the surprising uh piece you know of of directing but uh but yeah it was i i just wanted another level of collaboration i wanted uh new and different pu puzzles to solve because i love solving puzzles uh i'm a believer that actors are uh a good portion of our job is solving problems before anybody else knows their problems um yeah you, know, you see something in the character you go i don't know what that completely tracks let me come up with a bunch of different ways to get from a to z that make it work and so nobody has to think about it. And then, uh, you know, come up with like three, four options, show up to the director and say, this doesn't quite scan, but I can do A, I can do B, I can do C, I can do D. And they go, um, give me C. And you go, got it, on it. And, you know, that kind of yeah. puzzle problems and problem solving I love. And suddenly I had like that times like 10 uh, to do with like, <laughs> you know, a bunch of different departments. And that was, uh, you know, and it was also nice just playing, you know, with home field advantage where we, you know, our crew, we know our crew, we have a shorthand and we get to play and that sort of thing. So, you know. For sure, for yeah. sure, for sure. That helps. I feel like when, definitely the difference is massive between a guest director that comes onto our set for the first time and, and yes. somebody on our set. And I feel like we're a nice bunch. We're very welcoming. <laughs> I, I will say that I get the word from uh, all over town. People who come through, the word is out. Station 19 is a really fun set to be on. It's a really great set to hang out on. Like I, that has come back to me from separate sources, uh, completely un, you know, unsolicited. Yeah, and yeah. So I, I, I have to believe that that's real stuff. That's re that's truth. Um, here's a question from uh, uh, S Cross. I don't know how. You, it's, yeah, there's like three or four. Uh, S Cross with like three S's. Um, do either of you miss working more on grades? I do. I do. I love working on Grace. I feel like the last few times I worked with Camilla, it was such a blast. I miss Giacomo also a lot, but hey, hey. Yeah, that's my boy. That's my boy. Yeah. What about you? The same, the same. I mean, look, Giacomo and I had been, uh, Giacomo and I had, I'd been recurring on the show for uh, years, but I was always like a series regular on other shows at the same time uh they like you know because grace is a lot of people so there wasn't the bandwidth uh for ben at the time and then when it finally opened up and they saw what they could do with ben and they saw a lane that made sense uh and they brought me full-time onto the show it was the same time that giacomo uh so like that that's my so that was my brother in arms in in, in, in a lot of ways so you know uh and so he, he's that's, that's you know we, we 
we hit Italy together. We, uh, I, we were in Italy at the same time. And so we hooked up a couple of different times for dinner and running around and getting stupid. Uh, but everybody over there I miss when, and you know, I love going, going home. Yeah. It, uh, I started there as well. So for me, that's, that's the, that's the, my beginning. That's my home as well. So yeah, definitely. Yeah. That's where you and I are, are in the same, in the same boat that uh, we go back over there and it's not new. We know, yeah. We know the folks. We know the, the we we know how to get everybody to get get a little silly to to break out yeah. a little bit. It's a, it's a well oiled it's a well oiled machine over there. It's moving. We're like eh, it's cut up a little bit, you know. It's messing. <laughs> yeah. When they come over, they get us to act right a little bit more. Um, yeah. <laughs> <no>. <laughs> yeah. Okay. So it's, like it's it's fun. What about like? Do you ever see yourself stop? acting or if you had to pick acting or, or directing which one would you pick and why oh you know what no i i love directing and i hope i'll never have to pick this like asking me yeah, it's like sophie's choice which of your children are you going to get rid of um <laughs> but i will say this i'm an actor i'm an actor through and through i love actors i will never i'll never stop acting i'll just stop getting called to act <laughs> <laughs> You know what I mean, I'll still be like, I can do it. And they'll be like, no, 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 you're, you're 110 years old, Jason. We're good. We're good. Uh, never. But the good thing about acting is that you're never told. I remember when I was a dancer, I mean, to do a professional. And when you're a dancer, it's a little tougher. It shouldn't be. I wish you could be a dancer, a professional dancer at any oh, yeah. age. It's well, look at hard. Debbie Allen. Look at Debbie Allen. You can still move. But yeah, but you can't, you know, doing it at the same level as like, you know, but yeah. Debbie still get out there and move. Debbie will still wear everybody out on the dance floor. You know that's real. My butt, big time. No problem. <laughs> she's amazing. <laughs> she's, she's amazing. Yeah. Um, what, uh, I'm trying to see if there's any other questions on here. We probably should get off sometime soon because the, sh the show's going to be coming on in the East Coast. Oh, yeah. Uh, in a little bit. Uh, yeah. I'm doing a quick shot to see if anybody's got any pressing questions. Uh, somebody's asking you if you'll marry them. I'm I'm gonna I'm gonna throw out there I'm gonna I'm gonna answer for you and say no, no. I mean she, all the uh -huh. love in the world, but I don't I don't think the marriage proposal through, IG Live is gonna get it done. No, I. I... Uh, oh, what is this? Uh, oh, someone who's just saying how much they love the, uh, the Diane therapy episodes and everything like that. Uh, I was just saying I was Tracy Tom just a couple of nights ago. Uh, oh, somebody's asking if we get to, if I get to meet Addison tonight. Yeah, I think Kate Walsh will be at the party tonight. I think I'm not sure. You know what, uh, folks? Ch check in on my personal on the Jason Winston George uh, IG feed because uh, I think I'm going to throw some stuff, fun stuff out from the uh, the red carpet at the Grays thing a little bit. I may uh, since I'm all over IG. You know, you know. Uh, okay, what is this question? I have a question. If you could. Steph, if you could be a chocolate bar, <laughs> what would you be? Uh, I need to know. That is like, and they, they said, I have a question like in all caps, like it was the most pressing question ever. This is uh, our Rose and BB. Uh, like, you know, like, I have to know. What kind of chocolate bar would you be? Uh, definitely, oh, I don't know. Okay, it's this Kinder Bueno. I don't a know. what? It's called Kinder Bueno. It's like a chocolate bar with. It's. I don't. Can we cancel that? Can we edit that out? <laughs> the Kinder Bueno. So, uh, so you're gonna get a sponsorship with. You're gonna do a commercial for that chocolate bar, <laughs> right? You're gonna get send like a thousand of that chocolate bar, uh, but it's it's the sexiest chocolate bar you've ever eaten. It's a it's it's a sexy sexy chocolate bar. Not sexy. Uh, <laughs> Sexiest chocolate, I think, is like a dark chocolate with maybe some orange. Yeah. yeah. You heard it here first. Tanya likes the dark chocolate. <laughs> See what I did? See what I did? I can... Oh, where'd, where'd you go? Where'd you go? I lost you. Hello. <laughs> I think I'm with all the, gold, all the pink shades in one. Gotcha. Gotcha. <laughs> gotcha. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Cool. All right. Um, let's see if we got one more. I'm trying to find. There's so many in Spanish, so many in uh, Italian that you should be reading, probably. Uh, oh, wait, wait. Uh, what was this? Was it? Uh, there was one that said, Elizabeth, 1990, want to know, uh, do you all do y'all have fun in scenes together? Um, uh, I will say having a scene with Stefania is not enjoyable at all. It's uh, <laughs> it's distracting. 
It's, uh, it's, it, it's, it's, no, um, here's the thing you gotta know about Stefania when she's acting. Um, the body is in constant motion. Like, Cut. she's, the, the foot is, the foot is tapping. There's, there's always, if she's not full on dancing, she's just shimming around. There's, there's movement happening nonstop. So, there's, there's no music. There's no music except in her mind. My <laughs> but for the rest of us, is I I just want to know what like I watch you and I see if I can pick up the song in your head, and then eventually you sing it. Eventually I, you sing out the song anyway. It's just you know it, it eventually comes. Busted, busted. That's yeah. it. That's it. <laughs> I, I, we give the best hugs as cast. We always welcome That's each other in the morning with the best hugs. Yeah, I'm that's what I, I told people that when uh, when COVID hit and we had to wear masks and we had to stay six feet apart, I said the hardest part for our cast was that we couldn't run up and hug each other on the regular. <laughs> it was hard. It was hard. And I'm not I'm not going to say that the rule got broken and that we disobeyed the protocols every once in a while. We're not but I'm just going to say I didn't go two years without a hug from Stefania. Um, yeah, yeah we do what we got to do. From that, yeah, yeah, yeah. All right, darling, listen, um, it's about a half hour till the show uh, on right. the East Coast. So uh, is there anything you want to let folks know, what they can expect in this episode, what they can expect from the, the tail end of the season? Any okay, party thoughts? Tonight, it's a full-on roller coaster. There's going to be sadness, there's going to be laughter, there's going to be shock, there's going to be some sexy times, there's going to be all of it. And there you go. That, that's your promo right there. As it, ABC needs to just like cut that whole thing out and just run that for the next half hour. That's it. Yeah, you said My sexy time. She said sexy time. <laughs> the shimmy is over the house. Right. What about right, right. I love for the episode. Say again. What is your log line for the episode tonight? Oh wow. Um I would I would say uh everybody that uh Andy uh Karina uh Travis and a whole bunch of other people get pushed to the edge. Yeah. Get pushed to the edge and everybody has a different reaction to it. You know what I mean? That's a, is that cryptic enough? Is that uh is that you know accurate but cryptic enough? That's excellent. That's the best, like, hermetic, hermetico. I don't know how you say hermetico in, in, in English. doesn't matter, but you did, you did, you did it right. I'm, I'm going to take it. I, I did that. Uh, hermetico. Hermetico. I don't know what that means. I don't know what it means, but it sounds, it sounds dope when you say it, though. So I'm just, just going to take it. It's hermetico. I love it. It's hermetico. hermetico. Amazing. All right, darling. So Much good love. to talk. Congratulations right. for this episode. I can't wait to see it. Appreciate you, darling. Thank you. All right, y'all. Holla at you. Bye-bye. Bye. -bye. Bye. All right. Stopping live.